Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I want to go off on a, a, a little bit of a rant. It's, it's not screaming and yelling, but um, I want to push back on something that I see a lot, and, it, and it's really kind of irksome. So here's the deal. Object relational mapping tools, such as Entity Framework, uh, in Hibernate, Hibernate, there are others, are awesome. They are wonderful tools. They are tools that DBAs, database developers, need to embrace and, you know, love. They are great, great tools. Absolutely they are. They make a positive difference in the way databases and applications are developed. They change in a positive way the speed and accuracy at which databases and applications are developed. They are a must have for anyone's toolbox. You must take advantage of things like Entity Framework. They're good. That's the message for DBAs and database developers. The message for developers, guys, they are not perfect. Good is not perfect. Entity Framework is awesome. It's wonderful. Object relational mapping is wonderful. We absolutely need it. What we don't need is database design done as objects. Because then our ORM tool is an OOM tool. It's object to object mapping and no one needs to map object to object. That's fine. Relational storage is not object storage. They are, in fact, different. I know that hurts. I know that's painful, but we'll be okay because we've got the ORM tool to make it so that we can have a relational storage engine correctly designed, correctly built, so that it will, in fact, help you, not hurt you. We can design things, put in relationships, put in primary keys, put in foreign keys, ensure that the foreign keys are constrained, do all these things that we would normally do if we were just building it all by hand. And yeah, okay, so some bits of it are going to be a little slower because we do have to kind of build it by hand. Fine. But we then get all the benefits of the relational storage engine, which we want. Otherwise, why are we using it at all? If you don't need relational storage, please go to ID value pairs. Go to document storage. They work. They're good. Now, they solve different problems, but that's fine. Let's go to those. Also... Entity Framework in Hibernate and, and probably all the others do, in fact, support stored procedures. Now, I'm not telling you you need to write 100% of all the stored procedures by hand. No, no, no. I would say easily 95% of all of the queries against the database can completely be generated through Entity Framework, through whatever ORM tool you're using. 100%. Or, well, no, not 100%. I mean... I'm 100% convinced 95% can be done that way. Um, but that 5%, those are odd queries. Uh, they're doing a lot of data movement. They're doing, you know, weird stuff. I mean, stuff happens. I mean, things get weird. And those queries probably need to be written as stored procedures. And yes, your Entity Framework tool, your InHibernate tool, absolutely works with stored procedures. You can absolutely support them. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or ignorant. They absolutely support them. So, here's my deal. I want you to have Entity Framework. I want the DBAs to support Entity Framework. I want them to embrace it and love it, just as you do. But you've got to meet us, I wouldn't even say halfway, but you've got to meet us a little ways down the road. Some of the code generated by Entity Framework sucks. That code needs to be replaced. Some places, Entity Framework is going to expose security in a way that we can't support. That has to be changed. You know, just meet us on the places where it's problematic. Other than that, DBAs, do the same thing. All the places where it's going to work really, really, really well, support Entity Framework. Get it engaged. Get it in your systems. Understand it and support it properly. But monitor it so you can identify those places where it's not working here, so we need to write a procedure. 
It's not working there, so we need to write our procedure. And just do the work that you have to do in the places you have to do it. And other than that, support the tool that provides us with automation and speed and accuracy on our development. Why would you not? I mean, it makes your systems more stable done correctly. That's my little rant on ORM tools. And again, it's not that much of a rant. It's really kind of just going, let's all make, you know, use some common sense on this. That's all. So thanks a lot. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.